Greetings guys, it's Irish here. Um, tonight I just thought I would make a um, quickish type of video. So I've been thinking about moving over to the unstable branch, quote unquote, if you want to put those in quotations, of the Gen 2 repos. Um, I've been experiencing some weird stuff with Cube Browser, so if we come to here Uh, let me get to where I am experiencing this. So one second. So if I go into my Gmail here, right up on top it says this version of Chrome is no longer supported. Please upgrade to the supported browser. But if I go into EIX Cube Browser, browser. I am at the latest 1.2.0. So my guess is that <clears throat> I need the upgraded PyQt or one of the other dependencies of Qt Browser to be at its next level. So if we go to EIX PyQt 5, it's at the 5.7.1. I need it to be at least one greater, if not two greater. Uh, I have tried to upgrade PyQt and the others, but it's just a cascade of error messages, and I just keep stumbling down. Um, my favorite term is a rabbit hole. So the best way for me to get to the latest uh, Cute browser is to have it uh, have everything update. So, however, I'm going to do this a little differently. So, if we actually go into my YouTube here, this is a, it's old. This is the old version of YouTube where it doesn't have the uh, dark theme. So, if we go into like Firefox bin really fast and go into my browser as you see there is the dark um, the darker theme here and if I go into my email there's no um, there's no there's nothing stating that I'm on an older version so I've been thinking about moving over to the unstable for a while now I thought I could wait it out for the PyQt5 to move up in stabilization but I think I'm running into some issues that I can't wait any longer it's either do move to the un, quote unquote unstable or move to another distro just for one just for one application and I don't think I really want to do that because I am happy on Gen 2 right now as it is so I don't really want to change too much of it so from what other people who've done it say that the unstable is actually pretty stable. The things that I'm going to do differently is if we go into my portage, etsy.portage, so the package accept keywords is going to be no more. But if I do an EIX Gen 2 sources, I still want to stay on the stable 4.9.76 or and if I go into do the GSCC I want to stay on the 6.4 uh, until 7.3.0 stabilizes so there's only a couple of packages that I don't want to upgrade completely. So what I'm going to do here really fast is I'm going to move the package that accept that keywords <clears throat> to, to say something else. So we'll say move package accept keywords to package dot accept keywords dot old. Now I'm going to make a different directory still call it package.accept 
underscore keywords. Now I'm going to CD into that. So there's nothing in there. So I'm going to make, sorry, so I'm going to say Vim GCC. I'm going to copy So I'm going to copy sysdev here, go into that, <clears throat> paste this in, and then say minus uh, tilde m64. And then I'm also going to, I'm going to save that really fast. I'm also going to do that for the GCC config. So, oh, sorry. So go into that, sys, sys, devel, gcc, config, minus, amd64. <clears throat> and now I'll say vim, I'll say kernel. Let me open this. Gen2 sources. Sys kernel gen2 sources minus tilde m64. Okay, so now that I saved that, I'm going to go back and I'm going to go into my make.conf. So one thing I need to do is add this line here. Uh, let me see here. Okay, so I'm going to put it underneath here. So I'm going to say sept keywords equals quotation marks and then tilde M M AMD 64. Save that. Uh, let me go back in there. Uh, one second. Okay, sorry about that. So what we're going to do is say accept underscore keywords equals quotations tilde AMD 64. So if we save that, exit. <clears throat> so now if we do a sudo emerge AVU capital ND at world, you're going to see a big list of uh, updated packages to the new yeah so it's going to be an updated packages these are considered in the eyes of the Gentoo developers or the maintainers as unstable they're still in testing so should be a pretty big list here So hopefully this doesn't take too long. It should be the majority of my packages except for the kernels, the GCC, and the GCC. Okay, so it's not liking MUT. I think I ran into this before when I tried to do this with MUT installed, but I'm just going to Emerge. I'm just going to undo it. So, unmerge MUT. So, I'm just going to get rid of MUT for right now and then hopefully reinstall it after this. I'll let you guys know when that's done. It's done. So, if we redo this, everything should be fine now. Okay, so once that's done, as you see, I have a bunch of use changes that I need to make. And then here's the crypt setup. So it's slot conflicts, so they might go away. But as you can see, 441 packages.
383 of those are upgrades, 45 new, 8 new slots, and 5 reinstalls. So let's take a look to see if the GCC is in there really quick. And also the kernel. It shouldn't be. New grub, new i3. The newer RxVT Unicode. Xdo tool, piano bar, conkey, screen fetch. I am not seeing it, so it does look like that worked. Newer Vim, HTOP. Sorry guys, I'm just still looking at this. Just make sure that everything did go fine for making the use changes here. So there will be a new firmware, new kernel headers, uh, I'm actually probably going to put the glib C also in that minus sign here, so one second, so I'm going to do that, go to P, CD package, accept Vim GCC and then minus tilde AMD 64. Okay, so now if I hit no and then do it again, everything should be good here. And then hopefully, once I do these uh, updates, everything should be good. And uh, hopefully I can just ignore these because they are slot conflicts from what it looks like. So hopefully this won't take too long. I'll uh, pause the video for the length of the video, so be right back. Okay, so let's take a look to see if that glib C is in there. It does not look like it, so it looks like everything is good. So what I'm going to do with this is say yes. So now that will need a configuration update. So now let me open up a new terminal here. Go to use. So that's the package.use, and I'll say lsla. It's the zz template here. So I'm going to say move dot score c to I'm just going to call it unstable. So now if we vim unstable, all of that that we needed here should be in here. So let's scroll down here. Yep, so everything looks good. So one more time, we're going to do this. And again, hopefully all of this won't... Uh, Yeah, so hopefully all of this won't go away, or will go away, or it won't stop me from upgrading. So, be once again, be right back. Okay, so when I tried to block, or uh, when I tried to not upgrade glib, or glibc, excuse me, I did get a block, a block package here, because it was reliant on libnsl. And I feel if I blocked that also, it would have a cascading effect. So what I did was just kept the glibc from up, uh, I'll just upgrade the glibc. 
and then keep everything else. So what I'm going to do is now I have 489 packages. Uh, so this should take me all night. So I will get back to you guys once this is done and I will show you the updated cube browser. So I shall be back. Okay, so the initial so the initial uh, updates uh, went fine. I did run into a MESA issue, so I could not upgrade MESA, so I had to uh, hold that package back so I have more time to look at why it's not uh, updating. Uh, once I got done, I ran a Emerge Preserved Rebuild. And there was only two packages that needed to be rebuilt. And then I also did a RevDep rebuild and made sure that everything, your system, is consistent. Um, I also made sure that there was everything was updated that I wanted, so everything is good. So now if we take a look at uh, YouTube here, everything is dark, and I'm not getting any errors stating that my browser is uh, an older version. So everything worked fine um, unfortunately you know I tried it did take all night pl up until my lunch break today um, so I tried to record the aftermath of the up big upgrade um, but I had no sound so uh, that's why uh, for some of you you saw it and then I removed it because in the last half of the video there was absolutely no sound so that's why I had to remove it but yeah I think um, everything it looks good I, I feel that uh, I'm probably gonna stay on here uh, until something breaks I guess and then if need be I can go back to the state the stable branch I guess if you want to put those in quotes too but the downside to that is that then you have a bunch of packages that are way ahead of the stable branch and it will take a long time before all the packages to be caught up. That was one of the issues I ran into with arch testing when I was on arch testing. It's uh, that if you get off of the testing it takes a good month for everything to get upgraded, if not like a, like a couple weeks at least for everything to get upgraded that was in testing when you removed it. So, But yeah, again, I'm going to stay on here for the foreseeable future. I, from what, ever, again, everyone has told me, it's pretty stable. Um, I do plan on finishing off my Fun2 installation, uh, maybe tomorrow or Friday. So look forward to that. Uh, if you guys have any questions or any suggestions about the video or future videos, please put them in the comments below and I will talk to you later.